New details now about the botched execution of Clayton Lockett. Two News anchor Max Resnick went to Oklahoma City today for reaction to the autopsy findings from a doctor hired by Lockett's attorney. Folks here at the Department of Corrections had no comment on this report, which illustrates some major differences between what the state says happened during the execution of Clayton Lockett and what Dr. Joseph Cohen observed during his autopsy. Among them, Cohen couldn't confirm a primary cardiac condition played a role in Lockett's death. A heart attack, for example, which the state said killed Lockett. Lockett's attorneys hired Dr. Joseph Cohen to perform the independent autopsy in Tulsa on May 14th. Cohen says the execution team attempted to place the IV for lethal injection in the femoral vein in the groin area. Cohen called the move riskier and more difficult to place. All of this despite the fact, according to Cohen, that Lockett's veins elsewhere were in excellent shape. Cohen also reports finding skin punctures on Lockett's extremities, which showed attempts to locate veins in the arms and groin area. On April 29th, the state reported a blown or collapsed vein for Lockett, but Cohen says that did not happen. The review states the execution team made a number of failed attempts to set the IV, which led to a perforated vein. Eventually, Cohen states, the execution team improperly and ineffectively placed an IV in the femoral vein in Lockett's groin. Cohen says he needs more information, including the heart and neck structure autopsy findings from Lockett's original autopsy performed in Dallas, in order to issue a final report. A spokesman for the Department of Public Safety, the department heading up the state's review of Clayton Lockett's execution, said today that they had no comment on this report. We also reached out to Lockett's attorney and Dr. Cohen for their comments. We did not hear back. We also reached out to family members of Clayton Lockett and did not have those calls returned. Reporting from Oklahoma City, Max Resnick, 2 News works for you.